don't want to ruin people's day right now. Howdy, my name is Tara and I hope you're having a terrific day. And if you are not, this video is about to make your day just a little bit better. Well, maybe not this video, but my other videos might. <laughs> this video is part of my SSR unit analysis series leading up to an overall SSR tier list. At the end of this analysis, there will be a tier list update, which includes all of the other SSR characters that I've already analyzed in this series. Today, we'll be analyzing one of the characters that I was most hopeful for at the release of Tales of Crestoria, Lloyd. As many people who watch me on Twitch know, I'm a huge fan of dual blade type users. Like I have Leon, I have Ludger, I don't seem to have Lloyd yet, but I just really like dual blade types. It might be all of the sword art online that I watch. So it's kind of needless to say that when Lloyd was announced, I was really excited to see him in action. Please consider subscribing and liking if you enjoyed this video, and you can also check me out live on my Twitch found in the description. Alright guys, let's get into analyzing Lloyd. Lloyd is an earth element and dual blades type unit. He has below average health, low attack, and the second highest defense in the game behind Aegis. His passive skill mainly aids earth element teams as he gives plus 20% defense to all earth element allies. Majority of Earth Element units have a very high defense, meaning that his passive really fits thematically with the Earth Element. He has low arc turn counts of 2 and 3, making him have little downtime, and his arts also possess a fair bit of hit generation alongside attack ratios, which are pretty standard to be honest. But where Lloyd mainly hmm, lacks that is in his Mystic Art. His Mystic Art requires an overlimit cost of 230, which is just much too high for what his kit provides outside of it. Now, it isn't that his Mystic Art is bad per se. Generating 22 hit and having an attack ratio of 320% is great after all. It is just that often you have to wait four to five turns to use his Mystic Art, which just completely misses that third turn mark that we try to aim for with most units. So this means that when it comes to Memoria Stones, it's kind of hard to recommend just one that Lloyd can use, as it really depends on the situation that he is in. For this reason, I would like to notate two Memoria Stones that you could use with Lloyd depending on that situation. My first recommendation for a Memoria Stone for him is his own. His own Memoria Stone gives dual blade type units 60% increase in Mystic Art damage. While Lloyd requires quite the ramp up to get to his Mystic Art, having a Mystic Art damage increase of 60% is one of the highest amounts achievable. In addition, his Mystic Art has an attack ratio of 320%. So a Memoria Stone that boosts his Mystic Art damage by 60% coupled with his high attack ratio Mystic Art, just means he does massive damage. My second recommendation for a Memoria Stone for Lloyd is one that boosts your overlimit gauge for raid content. There are a plethora of Memoria Stones that could work for this exact purpose, as long as you're getting 50 overlimit gauge increased by turn three. Genis is probably the most easily obtained, even though it's not the best Memoria Stone for this purpose of generating 50 overlimit gauge boost by turn 3. Genis provides a 17 overlimit boost every single turn and please note that even though the text only says that it provides 17 overlimit uh, gain, it is actually every single turn and I have tested this in the game to confirm that it is each turn. The reason you want that 50 overlimit gauge boost is so that you can achieve his mystic art on turn 3 in his elemental advantage content. This enables him to provide that hit generation on the turn that you need him to. And turn three is the most important when it comes to raid based content. So when paired with someone like Cress, Lloyd can enable your heavy hitters. All right guys, now we're on to what you are all here for. This tier list is an overall SSR tier list focusing more on how characters would do in all content rather than solely their element specific content. Uh, please note this tier list is strictly my opinion. I've been following this game since beta and feel competent enough to create this list. And this list will continue to be modified and iterated upon as the game does evolve. 
Today, I do not want to make any changes to the current positions of characters on our tier list. I am, however, taking a closer look at specific characters such as that of Reed, Asbel, and Mozilla. Those three outside of Aegis are currently the lowest ranked on the overall SSR tier list. And Mozilla, for example, is kind of highly praised among the top arena players. And as such, I am considering moving her up to uh, the meta ranking, but I'm not ready to do that just yet. Reed and Asbel, on the other hand, are kind of underperforming still compared to the other damage dealers in their elemental categories, yet are still solid units, which is why I'm taking another look at them. As I said before though, I am not ready to make any of these adjustments as I want to see the development of these characters as the game progresses. So with all this in mind, where does Lloyd rank on our overall SSR tier list? I have chosen to give him the ranking of mediocre. Lloyd is just very similar to Aegis in a lot of respects. They both offer a bit of hit generation, but outside of that, they kind of offer little to the party composition outside of strictly tanking. Uh, Lloyd could very well climb to a higher ranking of future Memorial Stones that fit him better war to release, but at this time, his overlimit cost of 230 is just kind of a massive hindrance for him. I honestly really had high hopes when they announced that he would be coming to Tales of Crestoria at launch, but sadly his power is just underwhelming. So everyone, I'm sorry to bring you this bad news on Lloyd today, but please be on the lookout for the next SSR unit analysis video on Jude. Jude has been one of the most highly requested SSR units for me to analyze, so I'm actually really excited to delve into him next time. Please be sure to like and subscribe if you want to see more Tales of Crestoria unit analysis videos. You can also head over to my Discord for more discussion in the meantime or check me out sometime on Twitch found in the description. And as always everyone, bye bye now.